Chilly, almost fall day? Check. Cloudy, overcast sky? Check. Titans return highbrow? Check. Jello again. Aaron here from My Turbo Reviews. And this time I want to take a look at Titans Return Highbrow. I've just picked this guy up and I really like him. I've heard some people say that he's not really all that great, talking about him being the worst of Wave 2 as far as the deluxes go. And I'll tell you, if this is the worst of Wave 2, then bring on the rest, because I'm thoroughly enjoying this particular bot. He has a style that harkens back to his G1 self, while still being an updated version of that classic character. And when I say classic, I mean that he existed in G1 because I really don't recall him getting very much characterization, to be honest. But he is one of the headmasters that I owned during the 80s. I currently don't own a G1 highbrow. It's a situation I hope to rectify very soon. But I really like him, and it probably has at least a little bit to do with my memories of the figure from when I was younger. Highbrow's alt mode, of course, is a helicopter. The original G1 had three blades on each side, uh, so this is a little different, but it's understandable why they went this way. Overall, I really enjoy the, the flat, elongated design. Uh, and certainly, uh, if you know what becomes what, it's easy to spot the robot parts, but I think that they do a, a decent job of hiding them. There's one thing that bugs me about this mold, and it's that while the helicopter blades spin very well individually, try to spin them in tandem, and this is what happens. Yeah, they hit each other. And I wish that uh, they had designed it without having to mod the figure in any way to be able to get those two to spin and not have them hit each other. Maybe if the sides of the helicopter were slanted slightly, kind of the way that uh, animated leader class Megatron was. And of course he does come with some accessories, as you would expect. First are the two guns uh, that also become his landing gear. And that goes along with the pop-out landing gear he's got on the bottom. Which is nice. It's always nice when they include pop-out landing gear. Uh, but when I see it nowadays, I remember a time when the pop-out landing gear actually had rolling wheels. And gosh, I can't remember the last time I bought a figure that had rolling wheels landing gear. It must have been at least 10 years ago. Uh, second accessory, if you will, is his partner. Uh, which fits right in his cockpit here. And this is Zort. Zort for trademark reasons, of course. And Zort is nice. Uh, unlike Wolfwire that I reviewed last video, uh, he does have a tiny, tiny bit of paint uh, in his robot mode. It's not much, but it's it makes a difference. It really does. And, of course, Zort is a partner of Highbrow, and the reason for it will become clear uh, in a bit. Because, of course, this helicopter becomes this robot. And just like Wolfwire, yes, he is missing his head. And, of course, that's where little Zort comes in. Because, just like Wolfwire's partner Monkso, Zort here becomes the head of Highbrow. How does that get accomplished, you ask? Well, let me show you. You simply flip the legs up, fold them, and then attach it into the slot on the top of Highbrow. And there you have it. Highbrow in robot mode does have similarities to the original G1 character while also being sort of his own bot. 
The head is a bit different from his original G1 self, but that's something to be expected, given that we're looking at an updated version and not something that's trying to be exactly like the original. I do have to say on this toy, uh, it surprises me how nice and tight all the joints are. Shoulders, elbows, his head of course rotates and pivots back and forth because of the uh, Headmaster gimmick, or Titan Master. Knees and hips are also nice and tight, which is nice because some of these Titan Master Deluxes, I'm looking at you Skull Smasher, have loose joints. These are looking very good. And to be honest, I've taken a look at the Takara version and I don't really see too much of a difference between at least the head on either one. There's, there's some difference, but it's not really enough to warrant a remold, I don't think. And of course you've got his accessories from his helicopter mode, which fit nicely into his hands for him to hold. Helicopter blades, there's not much you can do with. They just kind of sit there on his back. And he does have the front of the helicopter, which, while an homage, I suppose, of sorts, to his G1 toy is still um, something that we could have done without, but I'm not exactly sure what they could have done with it, so it's fine. It's fine. And overall, I'd have to say Highbrow surprised me by how well put together he is, uh, given the um, other reviewers that I've seen who said that he's not that great. Uh, again, I like him, and I'd say, sure, go, go ahead and get him. Well, this has been Aaron from My Turbo Reviews saying catch you later. I've just picked this guy up. He's not really all that great. He's the worst.